All right, so we have a Dell. It is a E5570, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it is. All the screws in the back are loose. Um, it's got a crack in the case. Uh, the seller said it's missing RAM, hard drive, and uh, and it doesn't power on. So let's uh, plug in our power cable and let's open the laptop. Pressing the power button and nothing happens. So the seller is correct. So let's take the back off here and see if we can if we can get it open. The seller was correct. It is definitely missing its RAM. And I see some some yellow tape. So uh, this takes what DDR4? Yep. Takes DDR4. Uh, that's the battery didn't seem like it was plugged in all the way. Let's um let's plug in and see if we get power now. I don't think we do. I hear this thing making noise, bro. So I heard something weird going on. I can hear a noise. So that means I'm assuming then that we have a voltage coming in. Since I can hear something. So let's uh, put one probe on the ground. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Alright, so I'm definitely not getting... Uh, is this the wrong charger cable? No. It should be fine. Why am I not measuring any voltage? Maybe that wasn't ground. Let's, uh, let's find a better ground. Everything is freaking hidden in this thing, dude. Hmm. Okay, something's weird. Something is weird. So let's uh let's disassemble. Alright, so this is definitely the power. The DCN jack. This is definitely it. So let's see if we can. we get voltage this way all right so if we measure from here to here we're getting 20.2 volts yeah so that tells me that the 20 volt or the main power rail is shorted so let's remove the motherboard and see if we can't uh, remedy that situation.
in here it's just weird when I go to ohm from from here to here unless it's my stupid meter because this is a new meter I've got no it's k ohms it's up there on the on the screen it says millivolts but it's actually k ohms so there's not a short so if there's not a short then why are we reading so I've got one probe on ground yeah it's, it's k ohm the other pin same thing, it starts off as a short, and then it goes, it increases in resistance to some potential. So let us try to view this under the microscope. Let's see if I can work out how. All right, so we have those two tracks there. They go to the back of the board they come up um, they come up right in here somewhere right in here okay so yeah so I'm pretty sure if I were to own from the back of the board to here this would be the first MOSFET that we come to so if we measure it's not going to be shorted but then increase in resistance to so if I measure where the chip go bro So 516 mega ohms is what I'm reading there. And then right here I'm measuring. All right, so this is where the 19 volts, because it did the exact same thing on the charging port. When I, when I probe, it starts off as a short and then jumps up to 86K. Pay no attention to the meter on the thing there. Alright, so I've been poking around uh, trying to figure out what's happening and so I finally figured out that when I plugged in the, uh, the circuit card it um, I, would, I would see the, uh, the blue light on the, the little GAN charger that I have it would flash and you would hear a noise and uh, so I determined that there was a short somewhere and so, so I started kind of trying to trace uh, from the power jack through the board because I don't have a schematic so I had a short on this big inductor right here um, and so I, I removed the inductor and then I no longer had a short on this side of the board but I still had a short on this side of the board. So I tried to inject like two volts and one amp, uh, but nothing would get hot. Um, and so then I said, well, let's put it back together. Let's put the inductor back on and then let's inject 19 volts here to see if something gets hot. And so I figured out that 
something here is getting hot and something here is getting hot. Well, and that's bad because this is the CPU. And this, I'm assuming, is some sort of MOSFET for to, to supply voltage to the CPU. And so the issue is, is if that shorted, then that means 19 volts was going directly into the into the uh, CPU and so that's not good so I mean, it's a little late now because I've already but if I so yeah so if I inject 19 volts um, you can see that in that MOSFET gets gets hot so I'm gonna remove that MOSFET and then uh, see if the short goes away took a lot of heat to get that off. So let's see if the short goes away. Or if the short went away. I'm gonna measure on this big inductor. It did. It did in fact go away. So that tells us that the short is gone. So I wonder uh, I wonder if it'll boot with only first of all I'm fairly certain the CPU is destroyed because it had 19 volts going directly to the CPU it seems so I wonder if it'll boot with just the one MOSFET if, if, it's, if the CPU is still good will it boot with the with the one MOSFET I think we should give it a try and see. That's what I think. I don't think I'm going to be that lucky though. I think the CPU is a goner. But I'll still order another one of those chips and replace it just to be on the safe side. Okay, let's plug it in. Hope nothing blows up. turns on. I think the white light came on for a second. I don't see any other lights on. Uh, we're drawing 20 milliamps of current. Jumped up to 3, 415. Uh, and then it went back down. Okay, so it's a SIC C530 made by Vichy it is a 30 amp VR power integrated power stage so it is a generation 4 MOSFET so I will order this now I'm gonna say I don't think it's gonna make any difference whatsoever I think the CPU is dead but I will order it just to be thorough and uh, we'll give it a try when I get that part in I'm not really sure how you're supposed to solder these on here. I don't know how much solder is sufficient or, or not. We are going to give it the old college try, as they say. I don't think that soldering iron is big enough, bro. Not sure we need that much solder on the ground there. Let's take some of it away. Alright, I think, I think, I hope, I hope that's enough. One more good reflow. I think 
think that will do it. All right, we'll put it back together and we will go from there. All right, well, so it's put back together enough to test. I got RAM in here, no hard drive. Um, if it works, hey, I'll put a hard drive in it, but I doubt very seriously this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and press the power button. The white light is on and the white light goes off. So yeah, I think, I think this poor laptop has... Oh, you know what? Hold up, hold up. I forgot to plug in a ribbon cable over here. Oh, snap. Maybe. You know. Let's plug it back in. We had a white light. Oh, we do have a white light. On the front, which is good, I suppose. Yeah, this thing doesn't even attempt the power on the light here goes you can't see it but that light illuminates white for a second and then it, then it turns off so I did my best but I just don't think yeah y'all I think this thing's a goner man I don't think it survived the 19 volts being sent to the processor but it no longer uh, it, it now has power yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits on this one. I don't think there's any hope. So, anyhow, we did our best, man. So y'all be good, and we will see y'all again.